Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about GoDaddy versus Wix versus Squarespace. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now in today's video, we will be doing a comparison between GoDaddy, Wix.com, and Squarespace. These three platforms allows you to create a website of your own, so let's get right into it and compare each and every one of them by simply comparing the process of how we will be able to create a website and also discussing our preference or our opinion with how they set up their process and how they set up their things. So our first website builder that we will be checking out in today's video is GoDaddy. After that, it will be followed by Wix.com and then Squarespace over here. Let's start with GoDaddy. Now, when I started GoDaddy, it already sent me to this website over here, this page that we are seeing right now. So I guess it starts with the creation of your website instantly. It's going to ask you what kind of website do you want. Now I notice it will do this with both Wix and Squarespace as well. It will ask you what type of website you would like to build so that it can assist you and show you the necessary things that are related to that specific website that you're trying to create. Let's see if it's the same with GoDaddy. Let's say I would like to create a website about photography. Simply click on continue. And after that, we will name our website. So let's say the photography. Very simple. Then click on continue. And as you can see, it is now building our website's architecture. Let's see the difference between the process of creating a website with GoDaddy and Wix and Squarespace. Now, we did the first part in GoDaddy. Let's do the first part on Wix and Squarespace as well. To start with Wix, simply click on create new site over here on the top right. And we will be redirected to the page where we will be able to start the process. So similarly with GoDaddy, it's going to ask me what type of website I'm going to create. But right now, there's a new website editor on Wix, so it's going to ask you this first. But we're going to skip this by clicking on the classic builder. And let's see the first step, like I said, or like I mentioned a few seconds ago, it will start with the ask question where it will ask you what type of website we will be creating. So let's wait for it to load our page over here. While waiting for this, let's continue and do the same thing for Squarespace so that we don't waste time. Let's click on get started over here. Uh, let's do a quick checkup over here. Let's see if it's uh, finishing up. Uh, let's refresh this. And in this Squarespace, it's going to make you choose a template right away. As you can see, you could choose from all of this template. And there is a lot of different types of store that you could choose from right away. As you can see here, you have online store, portfolio, membership, blog, scheduling, one page, and courses and services over here. And let's uh, do this again. Maybe it's having an error. And there we go. It, it started our process with Wix.com. Let's wait for it to load our question. It takes a while. My internet isn't agreeing with Wix.com. Maybe a server issue. But as you can see, Squarespace and GoDaddy was working properly. Maybe Wix.com is the issue. But anyway. Going back here in GoDaddy, as you can see, this is our website editor. We're not going to ask uh, tour for now, but as you can see, it's very simple, very straight to the point. I think this is the most direct and straight to the point website builder that I have encountered. You have your website over here. It's already created as a template for us to use. Uh, we will be able to edit the content by selecting a specific section over here. You are able to see the cover media, the accent. The alignment, you have your site navigation, promotional banner, logo, action button, and many more. It's a very simple website editor. A beginner will be able to edit and create your website with ease through this platform. You are also able to edit the theme. As you can see here, you can choose colors, fonts, buttons, and many more. There's also settings over here that you can check out like the domain, the site profile, basic information, and many more. It's very simple, actually. Uh, I didn't expect it to be super, super uh, simple. And it's all in one place. 
you can check out the home over here the gallery contact us you get out another page by simply clicking on the plus and you have all of these options over here it is very simple and there's also shortcuts that you could do over here like store appointments messaging and pop up over here after that after you know finishing up all of this you could click on publish and you will be able to publish this store and then you could proceed to the next step as you can see publishing and this is the one for wix it's the same process with godaddy it's going to ask you what type of website you're creating let's say i'm creating a blog website uh then click on next you will be able to proceed to the next step after this and as you can see click on next you could choose also specific types of blog on the options before this question but this one the next question is the name of our website let's just say blog website and click on next you are able to change the name of your website anytime so you don't have to worry right away from the start about the name of your website and let's proceed to the next step there we go in this step you will be asked the different features that you would like your website to have uh, this depends on the type of website that you have selected we have selected blog so the blog option is built in as you can see here and you can see all the different features that you're gonna have on your website and if you selected online store you will have the online store as the majority or the built-in option but as you can see you could see all of this options that you have over here after this after selecting the features that you want simply click on next and now you can set up your website in the dashboard in the dashboard this is where you can set up the apps site settings analytics and communications and more or you could start with building the design of your website by clicking on begin with a template and this is the spot or this is where we started with squarespace simply choose a specific template that you want click on start with balliard if that's the specific template that you like for example this one select travel blog so that we get start the editing there we go now we're all in the same place the editing page similarly with this but as you can see in godaddy our website is already live now we could simply connect our domain and click on next step over here so that we could check out the next step of our process and let's wait for it to load the next step that we saw earlier was it suggesting that we have our own domain that is Finally, the suggested option or the suggested option for all website builder because uh, you would need of course to have your own domain so that people could go to your website with ease. But as you can see the next step is import images for your Facebook page and many more. Uh, basically this is just some cleaning up but the process of creating your website is simply just like what we did here. Very straightforward, simply edit the parts that you want, click on the parts that you don't like, you can delete them over here, you could add another uh, section if you want by clicking on the plus. Very simple, very easy. And over here for Squarespace, this is how you edit it. You can click on edit over here, the top left. Then you can enable editing mode where you can edit the different elements and components of your website. On Mix Editor, it's going to take a while to load. So let's focus on our Squarespace for now. As you can see, you can simply select specific parts. Similarly with GoDaddy, where you select a part, then you will be able to edit them. For example, this one, you can click this, then you can change out the different information about it. And you can also click on the site styles over here on the top right. You will be able to change the styles of your website. Then after this, uh, let's exit it for now. And in Squarespace, you will be able to edit the different information uh, already in one go. Like over here on the left side. This is like the backstage part or the back end part of a website. And you will be able to edit them over here as well. So in Squarespace, everything will appear in your editing page. You can edit your content. You can edit the style. Then you could publish it. And then over here, you can edit the website, commerce, marketing, scheduling, asset library, and many more. Over here on Wix, it's taking a while, but already, there we go. You will be able to edit the parts of the components of your website in this editing page. This is mainly like the appearance part. You have your elements, sections, and all of those information. But if you would like to edit like the part of this, you will have to go to the uh, dashboard of your specific website. So like the My Dashboard over here, you will be able to check out the back end of wix.com 
and the most easiest one so far is the GoDaddy. Everything was done right away. It was so easy. You you just simply put in the type of website, then it will suggest a template right away, and basically create your website over here, and you know you will now be able to edit. So for an absolute beginner who wants an instant website, you could use GoDaddy. It's very simple, very easy, very straightforward. If you want uh, a more detailed setup, you could use Wix.com. It's also very beginner friendly and you could also use Squarespace. In Squarespace, I find it a bit confusing because the buttons are all separate like the edit button, the style button, and then this part over here it makes it or it makes it a bit confusing to work with Squarespace. But either way, they're all great platforms. So depending on your preference, depending on your pacing, depending on the amount of things that you would like to be able to edit on a website, you could choose the corresponding type of website editor that you want over here. For beginners, once again, use GoDaddy for quick and easy. For Wix, this is also an amazing beginner platform, but you will be able to edit the information with much more detail. Similarly with Squarespace over here. I guess for Squarespace, this will depend on your preference. Either way, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.